Hi there, Shane Craddock here. I'd like to share with you a very simple story that's probably one of the most powerful metaphors I've experienced with private clients in terms of its impact. Now it's, I would have thought a very common story, but most people that I meet actually haven't heard it. And certainly if they have heard it, they don't really think about how to use the message of it uh, that's held within it. It's a very simple story, it's called Rocks in the Jar. But if you can digest it, it's certainly very powerful. And it's also one that I hope you share with other people because if you take the truth and the essence out of the story, it's, it's amazing what can happen. So uh, whether you've heard it or not, I suggest just listen to the story because there's a couple of twists that I have added in myself uh, for a bit of seasoning. The way the story goes, if you can imagine um, one of the uh, colleges in the United States, Harvard or Yale, the last day of the college life, say a three or four year cycle for students, and they're in one of these very old lecture halls. And if you can imagine a tiered theatre with brown seats, you know, the ones that flap up and down, and all the students are there gathering for the last day of their college life. And at the bottom, on a large stage, is a table, and on the, on the table is a very large empty glass jar, if you can imagine that there. And on the table as well are four red buckets. Three of them are facing up, and one of them is actually facing down. And the professor for the class walks in, the material's all waiting for him, and he stands in front of the class like this, and he says, Today is the last day of your college life. He said, your exams are in three weeks' time. You pretty much know what you have to do. So to save us all time, I'm going to make this the shortest class of the year. But, he says, I'm going to make it the most profound one. And he said, I'm going to share with you a metaphor that I've seen work for myself and for my colleagues, those that have applied it. But many of them don't apply it. He said, I call it the rocks in the jar. And so what he proceeded to do was to walk over and take the first bucket, the first red bucket, and out of that, he took five large rocks and he put the rocks into uh, the glass jar and he said to the class he said is the glass jar full and of course some of the class said well yeah it is but what's in the other buckets so then he said okay well I'll take the second bucket in it was let's say some gravel and pebbles and he took that and he actually filled it in so much so that you could actually couldn't see the the rocks in the jar so now he said to the class okay is it full now and they said well yes of course it is but what else is in the other buckets the next bucket, he said, a bucket of sand. He poured the sand in and filled in all the spaces around the rocks and the gravel, all the way up to the very top, so much so you couldn't even see the rocks or the gravel. And now he said to the class, OK, is it full now? And they said, well, yeah, it is full now. But what's in the last bucket and why is it upside down? And the way the story goes, it's either a glass of wine or a cup of coffee. And in my story, I pick a cup of coffee. And he pours the cup of coffee into the sand and it soaks into the sand. So he asked the class, he says, what's the meaning of this story? And a few of them had different guesses, but nobody quite got it right. And so he said in the end, okay, here's the message of the story. The glass jar is your life. He said, the rocks are the things that matter most in your life. They're the kind of things that when you get to the end of your life, you're going to look back and say, they were the things that made the biggest difference to me. So say, for example, things like health, relationships, financial security, love. Uh, the things that make, I suppose, the essence of life. The gravel are the things that actually, the material success of life, the things that you enjoy about life, going to a nice dinner, going on holidays, having a nice car, having, I suppose, a nice home, and the material things that we get to enjoy out of life. The sand is all of the SH1T that you have to deal with. All the problems, all the emails, all the different things that you have to do, paying your taxes, dealing with other people's problems, a lot of stuff in work that's really pointless. But all, million, millions and millions of grains of sand are the millions of problems that we all have to deal with every day and every week. And then somebody said, well, what does it mean? He said, well, here's the question. If I'd opened up the lid of the jar and put in the gravel and the sand in first up to the very top, would I have gotten the rocks in? And slowly it dawned on the class and someone said, well, no, it'd be impossible because it's too compressed. And he said, that's the meaning of the rocks in the jar metaphor. If you don't take time to first of all identify what are the rocks, what are your rocks, what are your priorities, what are the things that make the biggest difference? Identify what they are and then put them in first. If you don't take that time, well then you'll never get them in. Because the gravel and sand, and particularly the sand, when you go out into your day and your week, there's like there's a hopper of sand waiting overhead just to drop it all onto you. <clears throat> and then somebody put up a hand and said, well, what's the meaning of the cup of coffee? And he said, ah, he said, well no matter how busy you get in life, always make time for a cup of coffee with a friend. Because he said, that's precious time, you won't get back. And it's very, very true. So here's the thing that I actually say to my clients. It's a little bit different than maybe you might have heard before. The first thing is, I generally kind of say to clients, there are two jars in your life. Now, overall, you've got a life jar, which is most important. 
But particularly in a business scenario, like if you're an entrepreneur or a busy executive, you also have another jar, which is your career. And I generally say to clients is, look, prioritize the rocks in your life jar first, and then prioritize those in your business life second. All right, now obviously a rock could be actually one of your business goals within that. But what are your rocks? And I generally say to clients, pick five. What are your top five rocks this quarter? What are your top five this month? And what are your top five this week? But they should all line up. And that's just some food for thought. And hopefully if you like the story, please share with somebody else.